Envision, if you will, the extraordinary prospect of losing a limb, only to witness its miraculous restoration. For the axolotl, the starfish, and a select cadre of lizards, such feats are not the stuff of speculative fiction, but rather the quotidian reality of their Tuesday afternoons. One must then ponder, by what caprice of evolution were these remarkable powers bestowed upon them, yet withheld from our own species? Permit me to usher you into a narrative that transcends mere biology. A tale woven from the intricate tapestry of evolutionary compromises, forfeited faculties and the tantalizing possibility that humanity may one day reclaim those latent gifts that nature in her enigmatic wisdom has consigned to oblivion. Biological regeneration, that most wondrous of processes, enables certain organisms to replace or restore lost or damaged appendages with an elegance that borders on the miraculous. There exist creatures capable of regenerating entire limbs, tails, and astonishingly even portions of their hearts and cerebral matter. Uh, alas, for Homo sapiens, such regenerative prowess is but a vestige. Our recuperative ability is largely confined to the superficial mending of skin or the knitting of fractured bones. The loss of a limb for us is an irrevocable fate. The fulcrum upon which this disparity pivots lies within the arcane realm of developmental biology, a genetic symphony orchestrated by what is known as the Evo Devo Code. Enter Evo Devo Evolutionary Developmental Biology. It is not merely the possession of genes that distinguishes us, but the orchestration, the precise choreography of when and how they are summoned into action. In the animal kingdom, the phenomenon of regeneration unfolds through the formation of a cellular mass known as the blastema, a structure that mimics the primordial vigor of embryonic tissue. Here, genes such as MSEX1, FGF8, WNT, and SOL4 are reawakened, turning back the developmental clock with a flourish. These genetic elements are not foreign to us. Indeed, they reside within our own genome. Yet in the human context, they slumber, silenced or misdirected by forces still only partially understood. Why then do we not wield this regenerative power? One prevailing hypothesis posits an evolutionary compromise. In mammals, the calculus of survival has favored expediency over perfection. Rapid wound closure and the formation of scar tissue serve as bulwarks against infection, sealing breaches with haste. Regeneration, by contrast, is a slow, energetically costly and perilous endeavor, one ill-suited to the unforgiving theater of the wild, where speed often spells survival. Moreover, our immune system, in its zealous guardianship, may tip the balance too far, favoring inflammation and scarring over the delicate equilibrium required for true regrowth. Thus, mammals may be consigned to a fate where the price of survival is the forfeiture of regenerative potential, a trade-off etched into our very flesh. Yet, on the horizon, science beckons with a glimmer of hope, one tinged with the promise of futurity. Researchers, undaunted by the constraints of nature, have begun to coax regeneration in mice through the alchemy of gene therapies and the subtle persuasion of electric fields. The gene saw 4 has been marshaled to regrow the tips of toes. mRNA cocktails have enticed cells to revert to blastema-like states. And in a remarkable feat in 2021, a frog has regrown part of its leg, aided by a drug-infused regenerative sleeve. These are not the idle fantasies of speculative fiction, but the early intimations of a profound biological renaissance, a stirring suggestion that the dormant code within us may yet be awakened. In the annals of scientific progress, the year 2024 stands as a beacon of ingenuity. At Tufts University, researchers propelled the frontiers of possibility yet further. Through the ingenious deployment of a five-drug cocktail delicately encased within a silicone sleeve, they coaxed African clawed frogs to regenerate limbs replete with toes, muscles and bones, a feat that transcends mere novelty. Nor was this an isolated triumph. In 2025, a distinguished team at Kyushu University in Japan unveiled data demonstrating the use of gene-edited stem cells to conjure blastema-like tissue in mammals. Arguably the most proximate humanity has come to genuine regeneration. Elsewhere, laboratories wield the precision of CRISPR-Cas9 to awaken the slumbering genes of regeneration, MSX1, WNT and FGF8 within primate models, striving to unlock the epigenetic shackles that constrain our regenerative potential. Yet the saga of regeneration is not scripted by genes alone. 
At MIT's Synthetic Biointerface Lab, visionary engineers are forging smart scaffolds biodegradable biomaterials that shepherd tissue regrowth and orchestrate the intricate developmental symphony by which axolotls restore their lost limbs. One day, perhaps healing will transcend the mere application of a bandage. It will become the art of restoration itself, the simple act of affixing a patch not to conceal but to regenerate. Thus, the regeneration of the human limb is no longer the exclusive province of dreams. It has become a race, a pursuit, with each revelation, we draw ever nearer to that epical moment when humanity ceases to ask, why can't we? And with newfound audacity inquires, when do we begin? Regeneration is not the province of sorcery or the arcane. It is, rather, a chapter of biology that humanity has allowed to recede into the mists of collective amnesia. Evolution, in her inscrutable wisdom, did not excise this genetic script from our genome. She merely consigned it to the vaults of deep storage awaiting rediscovery by inquisitive minds. The pertinent question confronting us is no longer whether we possess the capacity to resurrect this latent faculty, but rather when we shall marshal the scientific temerity to do so. What if, in the dawning era of medicine, the paradigm shifts from mere replacement to true regeneration, from prosthesis to restoration of the cell. As we stand upon the threshold of the genetic editing age, the demarcation between the realms of fantastical aspiration and tangible reality grows ever more diaphanous, heralding a future where the miraculous may yet become mundane. If you love hidden mysteries, like and subscribe to Aeronest. Explore stories like, can we really delete painful memories or the cursed tomb found? Thanks for watching.